Hello. In today's video, we will tell you how to prepare a bitumen emulsion of CMS2 grade in laboratory setting. For this purpose, we will need bitumen, water, an emulsifier, hydrochloric or orthophosphate acid, and a laboratory colloid mill of CLM type. So, let's start. First, a blend should be prepared. In order to do this, we take 350 milliliters of water which we have previously heated to the temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Next, we take 2.5 cubic centimeters of emulsifier, add it to water, and mix it all. After that, we take 1 cubic centimeter of orthophosphate acid, add it to the mixture of water and emulsifier, and mix it all again. Now, we need to measure the hydrogen pH of the resulting blend using a pH meter. The value of this parameter shall be within the range of 1, 8 to 2, 5. The measured value equals 2, 2 and falls within the specified range. Thus, it is not required to adjust the blend. Having prepared the blend, we heat the bitumen stirring it gently and bringing it gradually to the temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. Before preparing the emulsion, it is necessary to warm up a colloid mill. In order to do this, we feed water into the mill and turn it on. The mill operates and gradually warms up. Having warmed up the colloid mill, we turn it off and drain the water. Now, we've got everything ready for obtaining a bitumen emulsion. We turn on the colloid mill again. Next, we take the bitumen previously heated to 135 degrees Celsius and the blend heated to 60 degrees Celsius. At the same time, we slowly pour them into the funnel of the colloid mill. After these ingredients have passed through the mill, we obtain a bitumen emulsion at the outlet. If we look at the resulting bitumen emulsion, we will see that it has a brown color. It is homogeneous and contains no inclusions. These are the first signs of good quality emulsion. This laboratory unit is designed to allow determining the amount of ingredients needed for emulsion production without starting an industrial plant. Using this small unit, we also determine how much acid and how much emulsifier we need. The unit is portable and suitable for any laboratory. Such equipment will be useful at any bitumen facilities. After that, this emulsion is subjected to testing, usually in a laboratory that determines the bitumen amount, hydrogen pH, viscosity and conducts other studies to confirm that the emulsion complies with the applicable standards. After operation, the milk should be flushed with any solvent. In this case, we pour 150 milliliters of kerosene. Flushing is necessary so that the knives inside the mill would not stick together. Finally, we flush the colloid mill with water. This completes the process of preparing a bitumen emulsion in the laboratory. After flushing the mill, another experiment may be carried out. What other experiments on this colloid mill would you like to see in our next videos? Please leave your suggestions in the comments. For more information, you can always check our website, www.globecore.com.